Perhaps no name is more important in the story of the electric guitar than Clarence Leo Fender, a radio repairman from Fullerton, California. Known to everyone as Leo Fender, he was one of the people who had the idea of a solid body electric guitar being the solution to the feedback problems that was stopping most guitarists from getting louder to compete with the rest of their bandmates in the new bands that were playing in dance halls and roadhouses all over America. Leo Fender's first design, released in 1950, was the Esquire and its double pickup counterpart, the Broadcaster, that was soon to be known as the Telecaster. While Fender didn't necessarily invent any of the parts of these guitars, what he was able to do was find a way to make guitars cheaply, consistently, and efficiently, and sell them to a wide audience. What Fender created was revolutionary, and was an immediate hit with guitarists playing all kinds of music. Even today, most guitarists will own or have played a Telecaster at some point, regardless of the style of music they play. Just four years later, Fender added a second guitar to his catalogue, and that was the legendary Fender Stratocaster. Released in 1954, this was designed based on feedback from guitarists who had been playing his Telecaster, and saw a number of new design features, such as the double cutaway body that gave better access to the higher frets for soloing, adding a third pickup, the addition of a vibrato bridge to the body, and body contouring that made the guitar much more comfortable to play. Leo Fender's contribution to the story of the electric guitar doesn't just end with the design of the Telecaster and Stratocaster. He pioneered the first electric bass, with the precision bass and then the jazz bass, that finally gave bass players the chance to have a portable, easily played instrument that could also be amplified to keep up with the volume of the rest of their band. His background in electrical engineering and radio repair meant Fender was also a great innovator in the world of guitar amplification. Fender guitar amplifiers became the standard by which others were judged and are still used today by some of the most famous guitarists in music. After selling the Fender brand in the 1960s due to ill health, Leo Fender continued to innovate right up until his retirement. When you look at Fender's contribution to the electric guitar from the Telecaster, Stratocaster, the Precision Bass, the innovative amplifiers and all the other guitars he had a hand in designing, it's crazy to think that this was a man who never once learned to play guitar.